Well, as the last uh, speaker on this panel, everything has pretty well been said. So I think I'll be brief, um, highlight a few things, I think pretty well all of which uh, have been covered by our, our speaker, uh, but see it through the lens of someone who's been very involved and continues to be involved in medical education. I think that breaches of professionalism, and we had some wonderful examples this morning, are sometimes often seen as a very simple problem. He didn't follow the rules. Rather than seeing it as a rather complex matter that needs to be addressed in a complex way that will promote for the great majority of, of our trainees and the practicing profession uh, an adaptive learning that will address the problem. So a simple approach of just an admonishment to follow the rules probably doesn't really get at the issue. Rather than attempting to address an underlying problem that may be complex and multifaceted, but which would lead to a change in the thinking of that individual and hopefully a change in behavior because that's what it's all about. Lapses in professionalism, and again, we've heard examples this morning, like medical errors, are often committed by very good physicians who temporarily, for whatever reason, and there may be multitude, just don't handle the situation appropriately. But over the course of their professional life, most of their colleagues would deem them to be quite professional. So the first point I would like to make is that context is critically important. There's a discussion that one hears when you read around this, this topic. Uh, do the problems of professionalism today represent just the issue of an aberrant few? And so Liam talked about that. Or is it a more pervasive shift in attitudes of many in the profession. And a couple of examples of that might be concerns about commercialization of medicine or the whole notion of confidentiality in an electronic world. And we'll hear more about that later, I think. There is a pretty widely held assumption, hopefully more in times past than now, that professional behavior is based on traits that are present at the time of admission or even before the time of admission to medical school. And if we could only pick the right people, the problem would be solved. Uh, there's also, this leads to a notion that then you can't teach professionalism. And so when we can't do that, then we turn to something else we think we're half good at, and we better assess it, right? Well, I contend, and I, I think hopefully many would agree, that professional behavior is a skill set or a competency similar to other competencies that need to be developed with progression from the novice to the expert and that these individuals require uh, really quite over time a set of very sophisticated skills, concepts, and values. And to do this requires experiential learning, guided reflection, role modeling, and coaching by faculty and colleagues, rather than just a simple reinforcement to follow the rules. So in conclusion, I'd say three things. Professionalism uh, is a complex matter. Secondly, it's a skill set that requires development. And thirdly, that context is critically important. Thank you. <laughs>